Company like page live via Instagram. Good evening, everybody. It is Thursday. Thursday in Spokane, Washington. So it is Thursday evening swing night. This is our normal, <laughs> less than normal Thursday night. So uh, everybody out there watching on the Northwest Swing Dance page on Facebook, chime in and say hello. Um, every Thursday, since everything has gone down, we've tried to do a little bit of normal and still offer a class here live from Spokane. And so uh, we sent out a, a poll to our local community on things that they want to cover. And uh, this week we picked Lindy Swing Out variations yeah so we'll spend the next uh hour working on some neat variations now this this uh creates a few assumptions that uh we're gonna make sure that of course everybody has basic lindy footwork down we're gonna make sure that we have our basic swing out down that uh we're gonna build off of and then we will go from there and do some Lindy swing out variation. So looks like the numbers on Facebook are ramping up a little bit for our local scene. Very good. Got a couple people out there on Instagram land. All right. So welcome again to Thursday evening swing. Um, we got some fun news uh, for next month when we go live. We'll be doing it with a little bit of a different format. That'll be uh, kind of exciting, I think, in uh, a little bit of a transition to getting some more people involved and offering some more things to the community via Zoom and uh, workshops and things like that, uh, virtual, if you will. And uh, so we're excited about that. But for tonight, Thursday evening swing, Lindy swing out variation. So let's get up off the couch, off of the office chair, and let's make sure we are on the same feet and the same page. So for leaders, if you're at home solo, then as Jackie and I are going through things, you can just watch the role of whatever you're wanting to try tonight, whether you're a leader or a follower, and mimic the movements that we're doing and dance with your invisible partner. If you're lucky enough to be uh, home quarantining with um, another person, your roommate, your cat, your dog, whatever, let's figure out who's going to lead and follow and make it all happen. Let's just make sure we're on the, the same feet, the same page. So for, this is the footwork we're going to do the, the, this whole class, so no stress at all. Leaders are going to start stepping onto the left foot, and we're going to do a rhythm that is step, step, trip, pull, step, 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 trip, pull, step. If I count that, it's one, two, three, a four, five, six, seven, a eight. Now, if you're following, or if you have a four-legged friend, if you're following, you're going to do that same rhythm going, starting on your right foot. So you're going to go right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. That step, step. Triple step, 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 triple. The count is one, two, three, a four, five, six, seven, a eight. So that way, for the rest of this class, we can really just focus on the swing out variations. Now, some of the more complicated ones we get to towards the end, we might deviate just slightly, but we should still be able to make that work. All right, checking in. All right, we got a good crowd going on Facebook, Instagram's going, love it, very good. Okay, so now um, I think we can go through the basic, basic swing out. Again, remember, using that basic, basic step, that basic rhythm, I'm going to get connected with Jackie. And for tonight's lesson, we're just going to focus on 
what we call the swing out, open to open. Some people call it a Lindy turn. And so here we are, and we're going to start stretched away from each other a little bit. What I mean by that is our elbows are bent, but we're not kind of like hanging out here in the middle. We actually move away from each other, so we have a nice little tension or pull-pull feeling in the hands. So now, just to make sure we're on the same page with the basic, basic swing out we're going to build off of, leaders, on that first step step, I'm going to move my left foot back and then scoop my right foot underneath me. That's going to make Jackie move forward on her first step step. So if we just go step step in place, then we're just here, step step. But watch, if I go step step, Jackie moves forward as I go back. Being a stretch the whole time. Yeah. Now, for those uh, out there that have been dancing with Lindy Hop for a while, followers, you know you could do a twist, twist, or a swivel on that mo motion and go twist, twist. We're not going to stress about that tonight, but that's going to be our first two steps. Then on the triple step, I'm going to turn my body. We're going to change that tension to compression, move around each other into what we call the face-off. So that goes step, step, triple step. So I'm going to get my right hand on Jackie's back. We're going to turn around each other on that three and four. So we've just done step, step, triple step. Now the next two steps, I'm just going to open up, sending Jackie back where she came from. Step, Five, step, six. and then we resolve everything with that last triple step, triple Seven, step, getting right back where we started. And followers, if you want to set up a twist, you'll open your hip to the left, yep. or you can just look at your partner either way. So let's do three of those in a row. All together, no matter how bad they look or feel, this is going to be our baseline, okay? This is going to be our basic, basic vanilla swing out that we're going to work with. Remember, the footwork is step, step, triple step, 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 triple step. I'm going to bring Jackie in, get my hand on the back, send her back out. Five, six, three in a row. Step, step, triple step, step, step. Do it again. Step, step. Triple step, last time, here we go. Step, step, triple step, 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 triple step. So now, if you're dancing at home alone, if you're the leader, just want to show you really quickly, I'm just going to do two, and then Jackie's going to come in and do two. If you're dancing with your invisible partner, pretend you're connected with someone. You're going to do that stretch, scoop. You're going to turn around, triple step. You're going to pretend you have a hand on the back. You're going to open up five, six, and go back to your starting point. I'm going to do that again without stopping. I'm going to go step, step, triple step, 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 triple step. So even if you're solo, you can work on your quality of movement, your shape on the floor, and pretending you've got those connection points as you dance with your invisible partner. And if you're following, <laughs> if you're following, we're going to have our two steps forward again, like Joel said, either taking two straight steps or setting up the twist, twist. My leader brings me forward twice, so I have one, two. I feel rotation from the leader, so I'm going to turn on the three and four. Three and four. I'm now facing the opposite direction I started. I feel rotation again to open up the hip. I step into my left foot on count five. I continue the rotation, stepping into the right foot on count six. And then I triple away on the seven and eight. So if I'm facing this direction, I choose to set up my hips this time. I have a one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay? All right. Okay. Hopefully we don't have any questions out there. And if we do, no stress, we'll answer them. Okay. So let's do this all together one more time. So if you are dancing solo, dance your solo movement. If you're dancing with a partner, get that connection. We're going to do two eight counts, and then we're going to work on our variations. Five, six, here we go. Step, One, step, two, trip, three, and step, four, step, five, step, 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 do it again. Step, step, trip, step, 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 step. Okay, so now let's get into some swing out variations. And we're going to build from, dare I say, easy to a little crazy <laughs> towards the end, but it'll, it'll be fun. Okay, so now the first movement we're gonna do is called an RJ or a pushback. And it's gonna look like this and then we'll break it down. I bring Jackie in, in, two, to position, three, four, and back. Five, six, seven, and eight. 
Now, this is a nice one because what it does is on the three and four, I'm still giving Jackie that lead to turn, but I, on purpose, am just going to stop looking at the camera on three and four. So if you're dancing alone at home as a leader, I'm going to go one, two, three, and four. Notice my right hand is out here. Jackie, if you have a follower, they'll feel that turn and their back will go into that hand, three and four. Now on five, I'm gonna give my partner a push back as I step onto my right foot, five, six, back to my start. So I bring my partner in, hand on the back, but my partner is to the right side of me. We have like an L shape. And I simply push my partner right back down the path, five, six, seven, and eight. So instead of turning all the way around, I just do a little 90 degree turn. So without pausing, leaders bring them in, 90 degrees, push, back, triple step. All right, and if you're following. <laughs> if you're following, I have oh, <laughs> one, two, three, and four. Same thing as a regular swing out, but then I feel the push back. So I have five, six, seven, and eight. Now, so from this angle, I have one, two, three, and four. And then I come back to you. Five, six, seven, and eight. Cool? Yeah. Okay, so just like before, if you're dancing solo, go ahead and do three in a row with your own quality of movement. And if you're dancing with a partner, let's get connected. We're going to do three RJs or pushbacks, depending on whatever you want to call it, in a row. Five, six, here we go. Bring in, One, two, position, three, four, push back. Five, Seven, Again, eight. bring in One, two, to position, four, push back. Five, six, seven, One eight. more, bring One, in two, to position, three, four, push back. Five, six, seven, and eight. Very nice. Good, 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 good. All right, let's make sure there's no questions out there. All right, we got a good group on Facebook still. Uh, let me scroll down. Oh, everybody just saying hi. Yay, everybody good able to, to make see it? Everybody. Yeah, yeah, good to see everybody. We're going to change that next month, hopefully. Okay. So variation, and I, I should write these down so we could give a recap of everything. All right, so our RJ. All right, so since we're talking about swing out variations, let's build on this first variation. So if I have this RJ position where I bring Jackie in, Two, hand on the three, back, and, four, and then a push. Five, six, seven, and eight. Now I'm just going to modify the ending slightly with a turn. So I bring her One, in, two, three, and eight, as I push, five, inside six, turn. Seven, and eight. Really nice little combination. So for the leaders, as I bring my partner in, same setup. Now as soon as I give that push back, I start to lift up my left hand, bring it inside in between our heads, boom, and then let it finish to that ending position. So I'm giving a counterclockwise turn. Lead in, hand on the back, Push up and over, triple step. Okay, and if you're following. Following, I have a one, two, three, and four. Feel the five, push, six, turn. Seven, and eight. Yeah. Now, we're going to use this frame, this connection. As we do that push, I use that connection to go right in between the heads and create that nice little turn at the end. So let's do this. Let's do a swing out an RJ, and an RJ with the inside turn. That way we're building everything we've done so far. And again, if you're dancing solo, make sure the quality of movement and the shapes are really different. They feel different in your body. Don't just step in place. Actually do the shapes, whether you're leading or following. Swing out. RJ push back. Push back with the turn. Five, six. Swing it out. Swing out. Three and four. Five, six, now we eight, do the RJ. Three and four, five, six. And now seven, we eight, do the RJ six, with four, a five, turn six, at the seven, end. Da, da. All right, I can see this like building this big long routine of all these swing out variations. And follow us, keep that momentum going at the end of those turns. Um, if you notice at the end of my spin, that was a really nice setup for prepping those hips for a good swivel or a twist twist. If you stop too short, then you're going to end up probably going in straight. Um, it's just not my preference. I love to keep that momentum going in any kind of a spin or a turn. And uh, so, yeah, at the end of that RJ with the turn, 
I'm taking my momentum and my hips all the way to the end of that stretch, yeah? Setting up that good uh, twist twist for the one two. Okay, any questions out there? Still more hellos, glad everyone can make it. Excellent, okay. So now, again, let's build on this RJ. I like to call this the push push RJ. So it's gonna be the same. Um, Ryan, I, I call it RJ because I actually learned this originally from Ryan and Jenny, RJ, but they call this move the reverse jerk. So I don't know where that name came from, and then they shortened reverse jerk to RJ. I assumed you guys were wondering why so, it's called the RJ. <laughs> RJ or push back. I mean, cool. everybody can call it what they want. Right. I'm going to do a push push. Because remember, we get to that RJ position, and I push with my right hand, but then I'm going to push with my left hand. Hence, a push push so check this out i'm going to bring jackie into the rj position push push trip full step and I, what i like about this is now it it switches our orientation or our starting point where ja i was facing this wall before and now i'm facing the opposite wall so if i repeat that again from this angle we're here rj push push trip full step and the middle feels really neat so now if i'm leading this on my own I'm here and I'm going to bring my partner in, triple step. Now I have that hand on the back. Now I'm going to push and move on to my right foot. Yeah. And then I'm going to push with my left hand. Yeah. And then triple step. So it feels like, like you're like a cat playing with a mouse. Pop, pop, pop. I got these claws. Yeah. Boom, 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 boom. So I've just got this like. A boom, a boom, a boom, a boom, a push, a push, a push, a push. So when I bring my partner in, in to the RJ, push that, push that, and trip, full step. In to the RJ, push that, push that, and trip, full step. Has a really nice feeling in the middle. Yeah. And if you're following. All right, for following, I have a, a one, two, three, and four. I feel a four. A back and then a trip full step. One, two, three, and four. A forward, back, and trip full step. Cool. Okay. So let's dance that again. Let's do, uh, we'll do four of these in a row because it'll work us back to where we work. So we're going to work four push pushes in a row. So again, if you're dancing at home, get that good quality of movement on that push push, that move move. Five, six, Four in a row. Here's one. Two. Three, in. And four, push. Five, six, push. Seven and eight. Here's so two. One, two. Three and four. Push. Five, push. Six, seven and, eight, and three. Two. Three and four. Push. Five, push. Six, seven and eight. And four. One, two. Three and four. Push. Five, push. Six, seven and eight. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. All right. How are we doing out there? Questions on the push push. Here we go. Can you go back and forth longer? and take up more time if needed. Go figure, look who's asking about questions about extending the basic timing or footwork. Yes, Tom, you can do as many push pushes, but for the sake of this class, we're gonna try our hardest until we get to some more of the advanced uh, figures to stay with the regular Lindy footwork, which is step, step, triple step, right? And so that five and that six, is where we're just gonna do that step, step. So if, if you wanna think about what Tom just asked about can I go back and forth longer to take up more time if needed or extend time or whatnot, then we can just like, we can just keep counting five, six as long as we want to. I mean, musically it might come out differently, but if you wanna just kind of have a, a mantra at home when you're dancing with your partner, you can be here to go along with Tom's question one, two, three, and four, five, six, five, six, five, six, seven, and eight. But if we actually counter that musically, did I do four pushes? Five, <laughs> five, six, five, six, five, six, and three pushes with my right hand. So if I counted that musically, that would be one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, and four. And now you're starting on the five. Now, the Lindy gods won't strike you down, but it's it's not a big deal. So, yes, you absolutely can play with, with the middle of that and have a nice little pushback moment. And uh, Or if you find yourself 
if you're dancing and you're on the, the wrong count for whatever reason, Tom's never on the wrong count. So it would never happen. But for the rest of you out there, me included, if I'm dancing and I feel like I'm off the count, I could repeat and get back into the right count for my swing out. Okay, very good, very good. Yes, this is a fun move. Little bounce, bounce, push, push. Okay, so those are our RJ variations. Okay, now we're gonna get into, um, looking at our list here, sorry. Oh, okay, so a similar movement, just to kind of build on, on that RJ, but a really nice swing out variation, is we talked about the hand going on the back for the regular swing out at the three and four. One, two, three, and four. All right, so my hand is on the back. And then for the RJ, one, two, three. My hand goes on the back. But what happens, so the next variation is what we would call a one hand pullback. And so what's going to happen is on the three and four, I'm actually going to let Jackie go past me. And now I'm going to have to get this hand. So I can do this a couple of ways. I can let her go past me and keep this hand. And now a one handed pull back, pull Five, six, back, seven, triple eight. step. So if I turn leaders, yeah. turn and look, and, and then come Five, back, six, seven, boom. Or what I like to do, I prefer to do, is to keep looking this way. And I'll do a hand switch during the, the slight rotation when Jackie passes me. One, two, three, and four. All right, so now I'm right hand, my left hand is here. I like to point to Tom when he's watching me dance, to, and I know he's stealing my move. So I point at Tom. And then I pull Jackie back Five, six, and do a nice eight. hand switch back there as well. Yeah. So we call this a pullback, but guess what, followers? It's the same movement as the RJ. Mm -hmm. The only difference is on the RJ, Jackie stops here because this hand stops her, and then she feels the right hand push her back. But now, the nature of this movement, she just travels a little bit more because there's no right hand on the back stopping her. And now this one hand pulls her back, one hand pull back. So instead of feeling the hand on the back give her a push, she's gonna feel the pull and trip yeah, pull so step. So followers, this is a great move to really test uh, your momentum, to make sure that you're continuing to move all the way until something absorbs your energy. We don't like to use the word stop your energy because yeah. You're constantly moving, um, but really I go to the very end of my stretch, where if that's the hand on the back or the hand releasing the stretch. Um, we want to continue that momentum. So this is a really good test to make sure you're not stopping yourself, assuming that it's a regular swing out or assuming it's something different. Yeah, so if you're, if you're at home dancing solo and you're a leader, you can kind of just kind of visualize and play, like is the hand there on the back to push your partner back? or you do a switch and pull your partner back or pull your partner back. Now, of course, we did the push, push on the RJ. Of course, we can do this here. Step, step, triple step, pull, push, triple step. It's that same push, push, instead of it doing in front of you, you have a little pull and a push here. If I do the hand switch on that, I bring her in, I switch, I pull, push, triple step. All right, so it's that same idea but taking it in a different different shape, a different variation. So you can kind of see where we're going with all of these nice little variations. Yeah, and of course, and having building. really good frame is important for these moves. Um, really going into the, the stretches and the compression, um, utilizing that those connection points, making sure, like Joel said, when we first started, we're not just like holding hands and having noodly arms or connection like that. So. Um, yeah, if you ever take classes with Joel and I, we are huge on, on good connection. We are constantly connected while we're dancing. There's never a loss in that connection. So, yep. yeah. Okay. Do, do, do. Well said. Momentum and absorb. Yes. Good, 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 good. Okay. All right. Let's keep building. So now I'm going to play with the connection here in the hand. Uh, when we did our basic, um, the one, two, I talked about bringing Jackie forward. And now if we stay connected on the three and four, I'm going to start to turn my body and we get a little bit of compression. Three and four getting around each other. Right? That's how we feel the, the shape of, of this. 
So my next variation is going to be a hip pullback. And the way I'm going to set that up is after I give Jackie the lead forward on count one in the tension, one. Now I know I've got her. I can feel her moving forward. So on two, because neither we haven't talked about the hand connection that much other than we have tension, but neither one of us is squeezing each other. I'm not squeezing Jackie or pressing down with my thumb, and she's not squeezing my hand. So what that allows me to do on count two is to release the hook, if you will, or release the connection. Now what that does is because I know Jackie felt the leap forward on one, she's going to continue to go forward on two, but I'm going to purposely drop this connection out by the end of the two, right in the two, and now her momentum is going to keep her moving straight forward. That allows me to get her hips. So I'm going to go one release, triple step, and now I pull back. Five, six, seven, and eight. So a hip or two hand hip pullback. So yeah, again, followers, I keep moving in this direction until something absorbs my momentum and redirects me. Yeah. yeah. So watch this here. I bring Jackie One, forward. Two, I turn around, three, get the hips. Four, pull five, back. six, seven, and eight. And so leaders, you of course need to lead, let go, move, get the hips, pull back. And triple step and followers, you're walking straight forward and walking straight back. But you have to have that moment of pretending mm -hmm. you go into those hips. Can you show the leaders a proper hip grabbing technique with the hands? <laughs> yeah. So leaders, I forget about evolution. I don't worry about my my thumb, so I don't grab around her waist at all. I put my I actually put my thumbs with my my index finger, and I put my hands catch around the hip bones. Right. So I catch the hip bones, and then I literally pull back as I open up my hip. So my hands are pulling straight back as I open up my hip. Yeah, so I would call right. it like so, a hip catch, maybe, yeah. instead of a hip grab. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hip, but, well, that's just like over the years. I know, I but I'm just saying, I don't catch. want you guys literally to think hip like catch. you're grabbing the followers there, because that doesn't feel very good. Yeah. So it's just like... Yeah. Catching that momentum and redirecting it. Yeah. Yeah, and I and I also for me, I personally try to go for the hip bones. So as I release, I'm feeling for the hip bones to move back, right? So hip bone area rather than like any any higher like or any lower like you don't want to be like <laughs> hitting like any obliques or ovaries or anything like that. Okay. All right. So so now this opens up a whole new um a new arena for playing with a swing out variation. Let me see where we're at on our list. Uh, da, 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 straight to the hips. We got that Any questions one. questions on that? Let's see. Seven. All right. Hi, Dad. <laughs> okay, so hip pull back. All right. Okay, so now what we can do is vary this slightly. So the the basic we're going to work off of is letting go Two, to the hip eight, and, four, and bringing five, back. Six, seven, and eight. But now what I'm going to do is um, when I get to that hip position, I'm going to think hip and shoulder. Okay, so now I'm going to go one, two, two three, three, and four. four. Yeah, now let's turn this way. And so I'm going to get my right hand on Jackie's hip bone, and my left hand I'm going to place like this, thumb down right at her shoulder blade area. This is the position I'm going to be in. Now, even here, if we can scoot forward just a little bit. Even here, because followers, I don't want you to think, oh, because of this connection, this other thing is going to happen. I can still bring Jackie straight back, right? So her weight is on her right foot, and I bring her straight back, bop, bop, bop. Okay, so watch that from here. So I'm going to do the same, I'm going to do the same connection I'm sorry, I'm going to do the hip and shoulder connection, but the same move. I'm going to bring Jackie straight back. Six, three, and four. Back. Five, six, seven, and eight. Right? But now I'm going to use that hip and shoulder connection to five, create two, three, and four, five, five six, six, seven, and eight. Yeah, so now I'm going to take this connection and I'm going to open up and purposely hang on a little bit longer to start a rotation and then to Hi let those hands unwind, wax on, wax on, wax off style to create a clockwise turn for Jackie coming back. 
Now remember, I don't, I want to stress just because there's a hip and a shoulder doesn't mean a turn's going to happen. A lot of times when I do this socially, I feel the followers start to turn before I actually lead. So there's a little bit of a line on this first. So let's make sure we've, we've got that. Okay. So watch this again. I bring Jackie in, hip and shoulder, back turn. Yeah, so that's a really nice variation. Let's go from this angle. Five, six, here we go. In, hip and shoulder, back turn. Yeah, excellent. Very cool. Very so cool. for followers with that move, because of the direction of the turn, um, your hips are not going to be prepped to the left like you're – you probably used to, um, you're either going to end up being kind of more to the right or squared. If the leader gives you more juice on that turn, you might be able to get around quicker and kind of bounce off and get to the left, but just it might feel a little funky at the end there for you because um, the direction of the turn, you will not most likely be prepped to the left ready for that, that good twist on the one-two. Um, but play with it and just have fun and see what kind of things you can do as far as uh, where that turn leaves you. You can end up just walking straight in, or if you're, like I said, if you're to the right, you can bounce off and go left as well. Yeah. Cool. Do we have any questions on that one? Okay, looks like we're doing great. All right, okay, good, 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 good. Let's, um, we've got, a, actually our number is just kind of bumped up, so maybe people were out to dinner or <laughs> something. So let's quickly, um, we're at a, a good spot to quick review. Let me bring this over here. So believe it or not, we've already gone through eight swing out variations in 30 minutes. It's all that interaction in the class with everybody and helping in class. No, okay, we're good. We're good. So again, if you're at home dancing solo, lead or follow, try to really work on your quality of movement and your shapes. But now let's dance through all these positions. So we started with a basic, and then we did an RJ, an RJ with the turn, RJ push push. Then we did the one hand pull back, cross hand or a regular, one hand push push, then the two hand hip pull back, and then the hip shoulder turn. Woo, okay. Let's see if we can do that together. Da, 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 da. Okay. <laughs> So let's dance through those. Here we go. So nice and slow. I'll call, Jackie's gonna count one through eight. I'll call off what we did, if I can remember. Okay, <laughs> five, six, basic swing out. Basic. One, two, three, and four, five, six. Now an seven, RJ. Eight. One, two, three, and four, five, six. Now seven, an RJ eight. push, push. One, two, three, and four, five, six. Let's do that seven, again, eight, push, eight, push. One, Two, three, and four, five, six. Seven, now the one-handed pullback. Three and four, five, six. Now seven, the one-handed push, four, pull, five, push. Six, seven, and eight, again. Two, three, and four, pull, five, six, push. Seven, and now two hand two, three, and hip four, pull back. Five, six, seven, now hip and shoulder two, three, and four, spin. Five, six, seven, and eight. Woo! All those variations. Now, as I'm dancing those through, I think when we were doing the, the hip and shoulder, um, I think I may have misspoke because I still feel like I'm bringing Jackie back. Three and four, five is really kind of straight back. And then six is where I really start to lead that turn. I think I said I hang on and start turning on the five. Let me do that because I want to make sure I saying what I do no yeah yeah I'm definitely I'm definitely giving Jackie a leap back on on five so I, I want to make sure in case someone was really paying attention to me earlier on um, leaders I still hip and shoulder still lead Jackie the step back then start the wax on wax off hands to create the turn so, so back the turn, on five turning on back six. on five turn six that's what I was feeling yes yes okay so, okay, I think we did everything. I don't think we, we skipped that. Uh, RJ, RJ, there we go. Eight variations. We're definitely not going to do eight more because we're getting into some more advanced stuff now. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Okay, 
Um, let's see. Let's go into a variation. Uh, da, 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 da. Ooh, okay. Yeah, let's stick with this hip and hand thing, and then I'll, and we'll do the, the other move in a second. Okay. Okay. So now, with the hip and hand idea, this one's actually going to be two eight counts to get Jackie back to this position. Here, here's what I mean by this. So I'm going to bring Jackie in, hip and hand, three and four, five, six, seven, and eight. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Let's do that again. So here I am. I'm going to go one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now in this position, I'm going to be here, and I'm going to go one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. And now Jackie's back where she started. So this is going to be two eight counts. Yeah. So I go hip and hand. One, two, three, and four. I'm going to lead her back six, behind me, eight, and then. Two, Three, Turn and, four, and push. Six, seven, and eight. Going back. So watch from this angle, because here we are. Now I'm facing this wall. I go hip and hand. One, two, three, and four. Lead back. Five, Turn. Six, seven, and eight. Now Jackie's in this position. I rock. One, two, three, and four. And I push. Five, six, seven, and eight. Back to that position. So now we're back to that starting position. So this is like a combination of the hip and hand turn. But I'm actually going to shape it so she goes a little bit behind me, and then a rock triple into an RJ position, which we talked about earlier, pushing back to the start. Yeah, watch that again from this angle. So I get one through four. Two, three, and four. Okay, so now I'm going to lead Jackie back on five. Five. But then as I turn six, I'm going to turn her behind me. Seven and eight. All right, so now she's going to be behind me. Now I'm going to rock and turn her. Rock, turn, two, three, and, four. and now we're in an RJ position to push Six, seven, and eight. back where she started. <gasps> Let's do that without pausing. So I bring her in, two, hip three, and hand, four, five, lead back six, here, seven, and, eight. and now rock, two, three, RJ, four, push five, six, seven, and eight. to position. Yeah? Let's do that from another angle. That first angle we have, I'm going to open this up now. But Get a little more light in here. Okay, so here we are in this position. Hip and hand. Two, three, and four. Okay, so now instead of sending Jackie all the way back where she was, I'm going to bring her back five. Five. Start the turn on six, six but pull her. Seven, and So eight. she's now behind me here. I'm going to rock, rock, two, three, triple and step, four. RJ position. Five, six, seven, and eight. Yeah, so it's a Hip, shoulder, turn, behind, rock, release, push, RJ, combo. All right, let's dance it all the way through without stopping. So I bring her in. Hip and shoulder, back, shape it, rock, turn, RJ, push. And now she's back where she was. So the first eight count, she ends up over here. Second eight count, she ends up back where we were. Okay, let's do this angle. Five, six, here we go. Hip One, and shoulder. Two, three, and four. Five, six, seven, and Now eight. rock. Two. RJ. Four, five, and six, now seven, and eight. she's back where she started. So now we're doing combos of our combos, right? We're doing variations with our variations. All right, let's make sure there's no questions out there on that craziness. Okay, very good. So I'm using my hip and shoulder turn, and then turn in place, push, RJ. Okay, ba -ba 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 -ba. nine, hip and shoulder, plus RJ combo. Oh my goodness. All right, so now we're gonna, we're gonna dial it back a little bit, <laughs> and I'm gonna do uh, what we, we talked about in order to get the hip and hand, and both hips, the release, on two. Now I'm going to play with the two again. I'm going to give a, a, a flick or a lead on two. And that's going to cause Jackie to come into the swing out in a counterclockwise shape instead of clockwise. And you're like, wait, what about that? Yeah, let's do this again. So if we do vanilla, vanilla basic swing out, Jackie comes in and turns two, clockwise three, into the swing out face off position. And now watch. 
on count two because we have this connection. And remember, neither one of us is gripping onto each other. On two, I'm going to give a little bit of a flick. Flick. Now I don't have to throw my I don't have to throw my arm over to make this work. I literally just give my hand a little flick. And now what that does is it will turn Jackie counterclockwise to the face off position. Check it out. One flick. Two, three, and four. Cool. And back Five, six, out. Seven, bop, bop, bop. Okay, watch it from this angle because I think you'll really see it here. So vanilla, Jackie turns clockwise. Two, three, and four. Into the face off. And I send Five, her back. Six, Seven, now watch as she comes through the camera. She's going to turn counter two, three, clockwise. Five, six, seven, and eight. Yes. Watch from this angle. Vanilla clockwise. Two, three, and four. And we finish. Five, six, seven, and eight. I give a flick on two. One, two, three, and four. We're at the same position on the face off. Five, six, seven, and eight. Yeah. So leaders, literally, I'm going to come in and. Put my hand here. I'm gonna go one, two. I mean, I literally like flick. I flick my hand, and because Jackie again is not hanging on to me, that's what allows me to get this move to work. If I'm dancing socially, and we've all felt this as leaders, if a follower is hanging on with a death grip, this move will never work. So it's not something I would ever ever try. But Jackie gives me a nice hook so that when I give that lead, I'm gonna kind of zoom in here. And so now when I just give that one, two, it's gone. It's out of that connection. Yeah, yeah. two things for followers besides that. That's a great point. Um, followers, do not rush on your one, two. Um, I think for the most part, when we've had beginner Lindy Hop or sometimes even intermediate, um, a lot of my followers take a huge step on count two. And so moves like this will never, ever happen if you are past that, that stretch or pass that connection with the leader on count two. So remember, hang back, maintain a stretch on one, two, only go forward as much as the leader is leading you, um, and don't rush past that move. Otherwise, he'll, he'll try the flick move and it just won't really work. Um, the other thing, followers, is when you're coming around, so I have my one, two, I'm going counterclockwise. Now, your left elbow, you might think you want to help by lifting that left elbow as you come into that three and four, but don't lift that elbow because then you will hit the leaders most likely right in the face. Um, so as you come around, I have a one flick, three and four, keep that elbow down. As you're coming into that three and four, you might bump slightly on the leader's arm. It's okay. I'm sure they would prefer a bump on the arm rather than a bump in the face. So keep your frame position, and as you're coming into that three and four, just slight adjustment, minor adjustment versus major one. And yeah. we can show you a Joel right so, now. Yeah, so when, when we're right here, if Jackie just turns, and if, if that happens, then she just makes a minor yeah. adjustment. So if we show you with the move real quick. Yeah, so if I'm here and I go one, two, three, and four, right back, she's right? there I made on the inside. Slow, but... Just yeah. goes right over. Instead of. Woo! Okay. Not so good. <laughs> good, good. All right. Looks like some folks have some buffering, some Wi Fi issues. Can't fix that one, folks. Okay. All right. Here we go. Let's keep building. Okay. Now we're going to go into the world of inside and outside. So, what I mean by that is if I'm here with Jackie and I bring this hand in between our heads inside that's an inside turn if i take my hand and i push out that is an outside turn ah. with that said we're gonna mess with inside and outside fairly quickly because i i think most people understand this concept if you've been dancing but if you're new to the swing out remember here's our basic i bring jackie One, in two, three and four and back five, out six seven and eight so now, armed with what I just told you, there's an inside and an outside. Let's do the inside on the back end, five through eight, and then I'm gonna do the outside, five through eight. Watch. So I bring Jackie in, two, three, hand goes four, in between, five, six, there's seven, the inside, eight. bring her in, two, three, hand four, goes outside, five, six, seven, and eight. 
Yeah, now watch that from this angle, you'll see it better. So here, Jackie gets the one, inside two, three, turn. Four, five, six, seven, and now, one, two, three, on the back four, end, outside five, six, seven, and eight. turn. Okay, now maybe even better from this angle, because you'll see Jackie come one, toward two, you. Three, I bring the four, hand five, inside. Six, seven, and now I take the hand outside. Yeah. And so I'm with the simple, like, forget about the, the shape of the, the swing out of the footwork. You bring your hand inside between your heads. That's an inside turn. You bring the hand outside. That's an outside turn. Armed with that alone on the back, what we call the back end of the swing out, the five through eight. As I lead Jackie through on five, that's when I'm going to set up one of those turns. I'm either going to bring the hand inside in between our heads on five, then lead on six, or start to bring the hand on the outside on five, and then six coming over the head, creating that outside turn. Now, the, do you have anything to add? I, mean, I want to talk about that seven on the outside turn. Um, I mean, just for both of these turns, it's extremely important uh, followers to keep the, your frame not only when you're, the leader has your arms low, but for the inside and outside, when the leader lifts your arm, keeping that elbow bent and in front of you. So for the inside turn, you want to avoid going past your your elbow or your frame. Or bring it, bring it this way. Yeah. Always lighting yourself on yeah. the inside. Exactly. Right? Yeah. So don't, don't let your arm... Okay. No, this way, sorry. Close <laughs> line you this way. Right, yeah. yeah. Don't go past your right. frame. And then now on the outside. during the outside turn, again, keeping the elbow bent and in front of you during that outside turn spin. Okay. Yeah, don't don't let the arm go this way mm -hmm. on an outside or let it fly away this yeah. way. That'll that'll hurt your shoulder. So yeah, keeping it bent and in front of you. Yeah. Cool. So again, I'm gonna dance it from this angle. I wanna and I'm gonna stop on seven. I'm gonna stop on seven. So when I do an outside six, turn, three and four, five, six, seven. So Jackie's really going into our connection here on count seven. She bounces off and eight. eight. Yeah, what happens a lot is followers will stop and square up their hips on seven. Watch what that looks like in this angle. If Jackie one, stops her two, hips, three and four, five, six, seven, and eight, you can see how slow her hips came around. Now that could be a function of the lead. If the leader is going really slow on, on that turn, then maybe the hips will go slow. But the energy that I'm giving Jackie, and I think you'll see it even pretty good here, she'll hit the seven this way, seven and eight bounce in. And again, we're gonna hit this connection point on seven. Outside six, turn, seven, four, five, five, six, seven, and eight. Yeah, that's a, that's a really cool momentum thing to work on your outside turns. Yeah. Okay. Keeping those hips going, keeping that momentum going. Um, like Joel said, he's giving me that energy. So as a follower, I'm going to continue with that same energy. I'm not going to slow myself down. Yeah, and for now, yes, we are keeping basic Lindy footwork. Nothing is changing yet so far on these craziness. So now, remember we called that an inside or an outside on the back end, or the five through the eight. Yeah. Now we're going to play with the inside or the outside on the front end. And the easy one is the inside turn. So again, inside hand comes up in between our heads. I'm going to work that on one through four. One, two, three, and four. And now I go back regular. Five, six, seven, and eight. Now what's neat about that is that's the same rotation as the flick on two. Jackie's going to come in counterclockwise. Counter, two, clockwise. Three, four, five, now if I stay connected, seven, eight, eight, counter, two, clockwise so other than the hand being connected this is the same variation if you will Feels the same. okay now that's the easy one the hard one oh let's do this together sorry we're kind of like <laughs> we're just like hey do that okay so let's all do this together so if you're at home dance with your invisible partner leaders leading inside followers turning with the hand up coming in counterclockwise and we're going to do an inside turn on the one through four Five, six, here we go. One, two, three, and four. Five, then back six, out. Seven, eight. Yeah. And now I'm realizing we really rushed through the back end, inside and outside. Let's all do it together. This is really weird teaching to a screen, everybody. Sorry. <laughs> so we're all going to do the inside on the back end, five through eight. Okay. Five, six, 
Here we go. Basic one through four. And inside. Now let's all try the outside turn five through eight. Five, six, here we go. One, two, three, and four. Outside hit that nice seven and eight position. Now, followers, that might be hard to do if you're solo, but really try to hit that seven and eight, moving that left hip in. Okay. Now let's dance the inside one through four one more time. Five, six, here we go. Inside one, two, turn. Three, and four, five, Basic six, ending. Seven, and, eight. and now the hard one is the outside turn to the face off. Now, this is a little extra rotation for the follower. Remember, Vanilla, she comes in, does a little turnaround, and gets to this position. But now I'm going to lead. One, two, three, and four. And lead an outside turn to the face off position. Five, six, seven, and eight. Now watch that without pausing. So now by two, I'm going to start to lead the hand up over the head outside by the start of the three. So as I get Jackie rotating, I'm already leading that turn and giving her that, that spin or that turn into the face off into my right hand. And Jackie's doing a great job of leaving her elbow bent in front of her for that. So watch again. If you want to try it with us, cool. If you want to watch, watch it. Five, six, outside on the front end. Three and four. And five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, all together one more time. Five, six, here we go. In, up, and two, over. Three, and four. And five, five six, seven, and eight. eight. Okay, so now we just messed with inside turns. And outside turn. Okay. We just messed with this. Sorry, we had kiddos upstairs, so we're making sure everybody's okay. Okay, we have inside turns and outside turns. So now I'm going to pretend I'm dancing with my invisible partner because this is where it gets a little crazy. So the basic, we could do the basic on the front end, one through four. Do the inside on the five through eight or the outside. We just dance inside turn one through four or outside turn one through four, basic on the back end. What if we did inside, inside, right? So here I am as a leader, and I'm going to lead inside to the four, inside, back end, <gasps> or outside, outside. Outside one through four, outside five through eight, right? And other combos, I could lead inside one through four, outside five through eight. That feels really good. Or outside one through four, inside five through eight. Right? So again, armed with just these two basic ideas of a turn, we just created, oh my goodness, what was it? You do inside three and four, outside three and four. That's two. Da, 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 da. Three, four, inside, inside five, outside, outside six, inside, outside seven, eight. <gasps> We've got all those eight little combinations, if you will to play with. So let's do that with a partner. So now, again, we're going to go inside, inside. Five, six, here we go. Inside. Three and four. Five, inside. Six, seven, yeah, now let's go outside, outside. Five, six, everybody outside. Three and four. Outside. Seven, eight. That one's a little crazy. I think this is my favorite. Inside, outside. Five, six, here we go. Inside, Three and four. outside. Five, six, seven, that one just has a really nice flow. As you, as you work on different swing out variations, some things feel really good, some things feel a little bit forced. Like the idea is there, but it doesn't always feel that great. I think that outside, outside is a good example. Yeah. I think now the last one, outside, inside, this is another one, it, even though we can physically do it, it's a little funky. So we're going to go outside, inside. Five, six, 
Here we go. Outside. Three and four. Inside. Seven and eight. Yeah. So again, my favorite is inside right to the outside. Or doubling in, in, and out, out. Okay. So any questions on that craziness? Oh, my goodness gracious. All right. We are looking good. All right. So here we are on our variations. If we count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So now we have 11 through 19. Nice. 11 through 19 are all the inside outside <laughs> variations. Any questions out there? Oh my goodness. 19 variations. All right, we've got about five minutes left. Do you want to do basket stuff? I would like to do what is your following one? I don't remember that one. So, um, okay, let's. You just lead a regular swing. Okay, so I'm going to lead a regular swing up. Jackie's going to do something and tell me what she did. So, <laughs> well, so we went over probably 30 different swing operations before class, um, trying to figure out what to give you guys. Um, basically, all these variations is pretty much the leader's choice. Um, as a follower, I don't really have control over what the leader does. Maybe I can throw in some different footwork and styling, but for the most part, it's, it's a leader choosing to do this. Now, here's something that I like to give the followers a choice in. So say the leader is just do a regular swing out. Vanilla. Yeah, vanilla, vanilla swing out. Uh, followers, what you're going to do is... Can we, um, I'm sorry, can we dance it one time oh, real quick? Sure. Just so I know where we're going with this. And then, yeah. Okay, so, yeah, five, so I'm, just, I'm six, thinking vanilla. Yeah, five, six. Here we go. So I'm One, thinking two, vanilla. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. Okay, thank you. I just like. Okay. <laughs> okay. Got it. Got it. Got it. Okay. Yeah. So followers, what I'm choosing to do, I have uh, basically one through five is the same. I have a one, two, three, and four. Now I feel the regular uh, swing out opening on count five. Now instead of continuing my rotation on count six. I'm going to choose to take my right foot followers and cross in front on count six. Now I'm kind of overtaking the direction of the swing out. Leaders think that I'm going out regularly, but I'm actually going to over rotate it. So I'm crossing my right foot and forward on count six. Now my seven and eight, I'm going to triple step. Now how far you triple step around is up to you. I'm going to take it and go triple step. So if I start here. So normally we would start here. Let's do a vanilla swing out. Yeah. And vanilla swing out would send Jackie right One, back two, three, and four, to where we five, started. Six, seven, and eight. So now again, leaders, that's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm leading. Yep. I'm gonna lead her, let go. So I'm thinking Jackie's gonna go back there. Yep. But like she just said, she's gonna come basically and end it, and we're gonna end it 90 degrees with Jackie to camera. One, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now, if she really books it on the step and then the triple, she can probably work it the absolute opposite direction, like our RJ pushback, but <laughs> followers are going to do this. One, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. Wow, so now we're all the way on this way, and I'm at the end of that going, what? Because yeah, I feel like for the most part, the followers are the ones going, what? And so this is our chance to wake the leaders up, right? They are just thinking that they're giving us a swing out, but we're like, uh-uh. <laughs> so, yeah, it's really, really cool, really fun way to just mess with our leaders a little bit. <laughs> yes. So, cool. Okay. Based on a previous discussion I had, oh, my gosh. Okay, 19 factorial, since we have 19 variations that we can string together in yeah, different ways. Right. Oh, and now Jackie's the 20th. So if the followers ever throw in their variation, uh, 20 factorial is 2.432902 to the 18th. Oh my gosh. That means nothing to me. That's like <laughs> way, 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 way too many variations to put together. Way much a lot. Okay, so 20, and I think 20 is a very good number for a swing out variation class and what are we calling this jacket the follower not a, it's not a hijack a is it follower <laughs> follower takeover follower what do you guys think over rotate what's a good follower 
Because it's not like you're, it's not like she's hijacking me, but it's, she's changing the shape of it. Follower. I got the power. Follower, follower shape, follower hijack shape. Okay, that's number 20. Oh my goodness. All right. Crazy. With the last minute, we've got, oh, live video ended on Instagram. Great. Okay, so let's just very quickly dance through everything. All right. No big deal. Do you put some music on? Nope. All right, here we go. We've got a basic. Five, six. Basic is here. One, two, three, and four, five. We six, did an RJ. Eight, or a pushback. We did a RJ with a turn. We did a one-handed pullback. We did a hand switch with that same move. Now we did the one-handed pull push. We'll do that again. Pull push. Okay. Then we did our two-handed hip pullback. Remember to release on two. One, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. Then we did hip and shoulder for the turn. One, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. And then we did a combo of the hip and shoulder turn, but we changed the direction of it behind my back and then did an RJ pushback. So this is two eight counts to get back to where Jackie started. One, Hip two, and shoulder. Three, four, five, six, seven, and, eight. and now, one, two, three, and four, RJ. five, six, seven, and eight. Nice little combo there. All right, and then we had our uh, flick on two, which is a counterclockwise. and four, five, three. six, seven, and eight. Then we had all of our inside outside combos on the back end, inside, on the back end, outside, on the front end, inside, on the front end, outside, now inside, inside, outside, outside. Inside, outside, my favorite, and outside, inside. That's craziness there. Those are all your inside, outside combos. And now Jackie's going to do her hijacker. How about follower over rotation? Whatever. However you want to name it. So now basic, Jackie goes back here. But now she's going to choose to change the end, and now we're here. Boom. Basic, and now she might choose the hijack over rotate, and now we're here. Yeah? Oh, my goodness, ladies and gentlemen. 20 variations in an hour. We hope you enjoyed. We're glad and proud to be able to bring you oh, the water skier. I like that. Okay. So um, next week, there will be a brand new little format that we're going to be playing with for the month of May. We're still not going to come back to uh, the women's club and back to quote unquote normal. That might be for a little while, but we're thinking about doing some Zoom workshops, Zoom lessons, Zoom uh, kind of things. Where we can have a little more interaction besides us just talking to a screen. And next week, we will start the new live format of Thursday Evening Swing. We think you're going to enjoy it. And if we need to keep um, quarantining, then we're going to kind of build on the idea for next week. So the month of May will be bringing you a new format for Thursday Evening Swing. We really hope you enjoy it tonight. We got you off the couch. If we gave you at least one new idea tonight, I have a feeling we gave or you a 20. few or 20. Please uh, consider donating. I don't think I put the donation in the description above. I will make sure I do that after the class. And for those of you that are local, I'll be posting the Zoom Shim Sham link in just a second and hope to see you all for a Shim Sham. Until then, until next week, everyone, hope everyone's safe and sound. Night, night. We're crazy about you. Thank you. Thank you.